All right, today we're gonna to be unboxing the T-Sauce Zagana PX9. These are a polymer framed handgun chambered in nine millimeter. They're imported by SDS Imports. These are made in the country of Turkey. So there's a few things in the box. As you can see, it's got a plethora of accessories. So this gun's gonna ship with two stainless steel magazines that are both 15 rounds with black followers and black floor plates. I'm looking right now um, and seeing that these have these uh, these notches punched in. Those may be uh, limiters, so these may be limited to 10 rounds, uh, but typically they would ship with 15 round mags, such as you see on the back here. And it's also going to come with a speed loader. And it is T-Sauce branded. Pretty much just your standard speed loader that goes on top here. Push it down, load around, push it down, load around. It's gonna come with two additional back straps. Right there. So you're gonna have, it's instead of like large, medium, and small, it's gonna have numbers on the back denoting the size. So three being the largest, two being the medium, and then the one is installed on the gun itself. And that tool that's in there, that's gonna be your punch tool uh, to remove the pin that's on the rear of the, uh, the firearm there. And this gun is going to ship with a holster, and it is a retention holster. So you've got one right here, and you're going to take that and basically screw it on here, and this goes in your side, and right there, it's it's more or less a open carry holster. I would, I would, uh, you know, unless you, you carry outside the waistband with a jacket on or something like that, but it is a retention holster, so you've got that right there. I'll show you how that functions. So basically when you come in to grab the handgun, you're going to push up on that lever and then it'll come out. Otherwise, it's stuck. So it's a, it's a pretty nice design there. I like that. Then up top here, you're going to get a cleaning brush as well as a patch tool. And then if behind here, if I can get this styrofoam out of the way. The styrofoam is pretty tight in there. This is your manual. It's a pretty uh, simple manual. It's not very descriptive uh, like we've seen with other firearms in the past. Move on to the firearm here. And this is a hard shell case in case you were wondering. With these uh, sliders right here. So, like I said, this is a polymer framed, striker fired 9mm handgun. It, uh, if you've ever seen the Springfield XDM, this, is, this should be very reminiscent of it. It's it's almost a one-for-one one as far as uh, looks, uh, the chunkiness and the feel of it go. Uh, there's a, you know, that width right there. Yeah, it's very reminiscent of the XDM. I'll show you. Got the safety flag in there. All right. 
so the barrel here is a 4.5 inch cold hammer forged barrel and all the colors here are all going to be black um, I couldn't find the exact finish that they're using here but I'm assuming it's a um, I don't know a black nitride maybe um, it seems pretty resistant to wear. It's a it's a slick um, surface, um, and the barrel's the same finish on there as well. It's got a stainless steel guide rod, and this model is a manual safety model. Um, now, one thing I'll note: uh, I had some trouble. I I've not been able to uh, switch the safety on. I'll, I'll show you, you've got a mag in, uh, cannot move the safety on either side. The safety is ambi. Um, you know, we'll I'll show you that the striker is engaged. And so it's got a striker indicator on the rear there, letting you know that, hey, the striker is pulled to the rear and ready to fire. Still can't move that safety. So I don't know if this is you know, operator error or uh, if there's another issue at play here. If you know, let me know down in the comment section below and I'll uh, I'll look into it. But yeah, there's the manual safety and your slide lock, slide release right there. Functions. There's your takedown lever. That slide lock, slide release is not present on the other side. However, there is a notch uh, as if one were to have been uh, place there or it was a plan to place one um, It just uh, on this one. It's there's a cutout inside. It's like indented into the frame uh, But you don't have that over here. So I'm not sure what's going on there, but You do have a three section Picatinny rail on the bottom for your lights and lasers There's your magazine release. It's you know pretty it's a good and accessible location and it is Swappable to the other side and This is a uh, they describe it as a one-piece uh, fire control group uh, so the, the the trigger bar on the inside is all one piece inside of there Overall pretty nice it's a It's a nice size handgun. It definitely is a full-size handgun so you've got slide serrations in the rear as well as in the front on the top half of the slide right there and there's that removable back strap and the pin needed to drive out it's like a roll pin in there it'll drive that out and you can replace that back strap you've got a slightly uh, beveled magwell Right there, you can see it. So, magazine insertions. It's fairly easy. That's how that mag looks. Let's see if these mags drop free. They do. Overall, pretty nice. The, uh, the rear sight is adjustable. And it is just a uh, black pattern. You've got that line pattern in the rear. And then you've got a tritium night sight in the front. And uh, you know, when you line that up, it's basically just a black dot during the day. You can slightly see the tritium in there during the day, but yep, yeah, there's the uh, sight picture you'll get there. Got a pretty nice beaver tail in the rear. Uh, the grip, um, you know what? I'd say it could be slightly better. It's, it's kind of slick, but not horrible and then on the top there on the slide you've got the it says Philippine National Police um, I'm assuming this is the service weapon the police there use I'm not really sure why that's on the handgun and then there's your Zagana PX9 logo all right if you guys have any questions let me know down in the comment section. Thank you for watching.